Hi there. I hope you are well. I uh, have something really interesting for you today. We'll continue with the creation of a screen in ABAP. Um, this will introduce you to the screen painter, the two modules, PBO and PI, as well as the GUI status. Um, it's going to be again a very simple program, uh, but it's gonna do the work, do the trick. Uh, it's gonna cover the basics. So uh, let's begin. I hope you will find it uh, useful. So let's declare the OK code field. In the beginning, uh, we'll find out that the function code of the push button, for example, will be placed in the system field. So you come and assign to the OK code field. So let's call screen 100 now, which doesn't exist, but we'll double click on it to create the necessary data. And um, you'll see um, el attributes, uh, element list, and flow logic options, uh, which we will use in a bit. But first, we have to create our uh, push button. Uh, this will uh, do, we'll be doing this by uh, going to layout and selecting the push button. We'll define the label, text, and also the function. This uh, function code is uh, uh, important for our flow because in each a process after input event the function code uh, if it's not empty is placed in the system field and assigned to the OK code field now when checking the element list we'll see the exit function code there which is type push uh, because we selected a push button and we have to add also the OK code field. Now we have to uncomment both modules in the process before output and process after input. Also create our GUI status in the status 100 um, module. So um, the GUI status is the main way of allowing users to choose functions that trigger the process after input event and send function codes to the program. Now this is a very simple uh, screen, enough to cover the basics. Um, we'll be creating now the GUI status and uh, we'll define the function code also in the GUI status. So let's do this now. Uh, you see function keys, application toolbar and menu bar. We'll go to function keys and um, the function of a GUI status, you know, it's to provide the user with a range of functions on a screen. So we can put also, for example, back function. Um, and let's put uh, exit uh, function code um, in the shift F8 combination. So in the function text exit also and let's activate so we are done now with the creation of the push button and also with the creation of the process before output and the GUI status we defined everything we need for our button we just have to go now to the process uh, after input um, which uh, determines the flow logic and executes uh, modules after the display of the screen and after receiving inputs from the user. So this is where we will use the OK code which stores the um, uh, function code. So we defined back function and we defined exit as the push button. Okay, So in this case uh, we'll define the flow logic for these two. So let us uh, activate everything and see if our program has any errors. 
selecting all and it seems to be working let's hit f8 and press well let's go with the debugger to just see how it behaves press exit and uh, we should uh, um, enter the debugging mode f7 f7 and you see we are at user command after input we check ok code has the ok code exit the function code which we defined and which we pressed so on exit we leave to screen 0 so we exit so I was going to end this video but um, I have an either idea uh, maybe we should also add a checkbox for example um, just to play around a bit so let's go back to the layout and uh, let's see if we can find the checkbox it's the X um, let's add something in there um, it's going to be the same process um, we should uh, define the function code and we should control it from the process after input in the OK code case statement um, we should also define the function code in the elements in the GUI status sorry you see now in the elements list um, we'll, uh, we'll be able to find also the say something uh, function code uh, which is of type check, yeah, checkbox, not push button like exit. So we'll just um, add a function key also maybe to the to the say something F5 maybe. And um, let's move on from there. So we are back at the, our case statement where we control the flow and um, we'll just add the new function code which is called say something and let's, uh, let's create a pop-up saying something. let's uh, fill it with uh, some text and uh, let's activate this program and try to run it and let's see what happens if we activate the checkbox of saying something you see the pop-up to inform so that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed the video i hope you found it useful uh, please let me know in the comments if you did or if you didn't and uh, let me know how can I improve this. Good luck and see you next time. Bye bye.